Today is a nice day because I'm replacing the brake discs and brake pads on my Honda. Now, I left with the caravan for a little trip and it was nice. But I felt I needed a bit more braking power. I have here my spectators. Whoa! My spectators. This is my my cheerleaders. My cheerleaders. Yeah. Sleep the pride. Whoa! Yeah. Teething time. Whoa! Yeah. yeah. So the old discs. Uh, I think they still have some life in them, but I've never changed them ever since I bought this car. So. I'm thinking it's that time. The brake pads probably have a bit more life in them also. They're Bramble brake pads. Uh, but I think it would be useful. Like I said, while going with the caravan, I felt that I need a bit more braking power. So, ta-da! These will be the new ones. They're grooved, so all the filing actually goes out hopefully this will improve my brakes a lot a lot huh yeah yeah when he will be a bit older he can help me but for now I'm doing this myself test fit way better here you go Mexico yeah you like you like yeah <laughs> no, they're dirty. Ah. Okay. <laughs> In order to change these discs, there is there's two screws here for the caliper. One here, one there. And then this goes off. I'll hang it from a cable tie or something from the from the spring. <laughs> <laughs> and after that, remove these two screws, take the disc out, put the new disc in, take the pads out, press the cylinder, put the new pads in, do, do a bit of cleaning, and that should be it. <laughs> he likes Senna, we all do. Yeah. Yeah. These are the new Brambo brake pads. Hopefully it's four in here. Yes, there are. They have the thingy also. They have new screws. Sorry, for calipers. Caliper screws. Yeah. Nice. So my brake pads are kind of down to here. So all of this is warm. Yeah, it was the time for changing. Okay, let's get to work. I'm doing a test to see if these are easy to remove. And they are, with a normal impact. Sweet, man. Hey, hey, let's get to work. I say. Alright. So, I think this is 13. Yes, it is. Now this is um, a super cool thing that I found in the middle section of Lidl. Sometimes you find really good shit there. Because it's extendable and obviously you increase the force. So let's see if I need it actually. I don't really need it. Nope. I might need to hold the counter here. Because it's spinning. It is spinning. Okay, so 13 or 14, I think. I'm taking both. So my key is too thick to go in here. There's a problem to have. Alright, so for the. So that key was too thick to enter there, but I've used this pump key, we call it. Um, adjustable thingy, and you just put it here, like so. 
hold it, and then, you know, do your thing. It worked pretty well up and down, so it should be alright. Now, these are my old brake pads, which I think they still had a lot of life in them. But, they need to go out with the old, in with the new. So I'm going to change everything, so everything mates with everything. And then, <laughs> <He's going as well. laughs> it's all going to be nice. Oh, on the other side it's a bit more worn out. Still not Where you going? at the changing level. I still had like maybe three mil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so that's that's going out. This, I need to take it out and clean it. I don't know if I can take the disc off without taking this off, so I think I can't. So, another two bolts here, I would say 17 I don't know if you can see, 17. So I'll bring a 17. So, it's a 19. It's, sorry, it's a 17 mil. So let's, let's do this shit. I did change brake pads before, I never changed the brake discs. So I'm guessing it's gonna require some force. <coughs> Holy shit. <sighs> hmm. He touched nettle. I don't know, there's no screaming, so I think there's slits everywhere. No. It's not gonna happen anything to her. She runs through it every time when she's in the woods. You know? Yeah, when she bites. Uh, What's this? It moves. <laughs> Alright, so it's maximum. This should be interesting. I've never taken these bolts out. So. Pretty weird position, also. Okay. Ah, yep, they're coming. I would say eighty plus force. Like a lot of force, so I'll have to console the manual and see. What there? Pretty fucking tight. Pretty fucking tight would be the scientific term for these screws. What's the scientific term, Mexico? Pretty fucking tight. Yeah. That's, that's the term. I'm pretty sure it's... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the technical dictionary, they have this term. Excuse me. They have This would be a good opportunity for me to see the underside of these brake discs, which I've never seen until now. There's this hole, this screw. Well, I've never changed them ever since I got the car. How many times do you have to change them? You just look at them and if they look bad. These don't look bad. I'm changing them because caravan need more braking power and also these are stock and the discs that I have are like performance so they're better you know alright so now they're coming off it's 
screw number one. Screw number two. Woo! Who knew a brake changing can be so easy? I did. Haha, <laughs> that's why I'm doing it. Yay! Now, let's see the underside of these brake discs if they wanna come out. Come out, bitch. Oh man! Pretty mirror finish. That's not bad. Yeah. So you're not gonna throw it, you're saying? Have fun. It don't look they don't look bad. I've seen worse. Uh, I've seen way worse. But this is preventative maintenance. It's called, you know. Now checking the bearing. The drive shafts. The other, yeah, the drive shafts. Yeah. That was the thing. Alright, so, we're down to this, <laughs> Maxico. Oh. I don't think they have a, like a right and a left, the wheel goes like that, so it throws them regardless. Let's do a comparison between the old stock one and the new non-stock one. But for starters, the new one has got more brake meat here. So like, what? This goes. That's as far as this goes. And here, it's smaller. What the? F I know it's the same, same braking distance, really. They do look a bit different. These have more fins here, these the fins stop there. Hmm. Definitely thicker these. I don't know if it's worth keeping the old ones. I'll decide. Let's see if they fit. They do fit. They look pretty nice. Pretty nice. Mm -hmm. So they do have orientation. That's left, right. This is left. So I accidentally got the right one with me there. So that's for the left side. I have the one for the right side. So that's cool. I was looking for a sacrificial cloth, maybe this foam will help. Too many things in this garage. Too many projects started. I need to finish them already. Brake cleaner spray. When James Whale directed his two Frankenstein films. Alright. <laughs> Some spray. All right. So that goes in here. Make sure to match the holes of the fitting screws to the holes of the disc. And then you put it in here, put back the screws, and that's it. So, screw number one. I'm not tightening them too much, because the wheel keeps it in place anyway. That should be alright. It already starts to look way better. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Nice. Now for the this thing. 
I need to take it and give it a little a little brushing. These need to be really clean because the pads actually move on the surface. That should be it. What we need now is brake brake cylinder press tool. Because we need to press the cylinder back in, yeah, that's it. Alright. Alright, this thing, we put it back in here. Okay. And I think while I'm here, I'm gonna replace this fake bulb because it's always been pissing me off. You see, you can see it's orange because it's yeah. a cheap, cheap ass fake bulb. The other one you can't because it's dichroic. This one is fake, cheap, nasty. But to exchange this, you gotta go through under the wing, and since the wheel is off, I could do that. Now, I need to, one, grab a beer, two, look at the manual and see what's the torque values for those screws. So, brakes and suspension, braking system, page 9-1. Front caliper mounting bracket bolts, 108 newton meters. So, I was saying 80 plus. So, let's get my torque wrench ready. 108 newton meters. The torque value of these screws. Which is that. So, to press back the, the piston, this is said tool. I got this tool from, from eBay. I've used it before to change the front and back uh, pads so you got more discs here each disc for a different type of car this is the one that I used so you've got this plate you kinda shift this plate in here like that and then this plate goes in here like so and then you, you bring this in like that and bring it in all the way in there the car doesn't have to be started you just push the thing back you don't have to do any fancy bits you just push the thing back in there like so look I don't think you need to use excessive force I'm just pushing it with my hand and it just goes in like so one thing that I have to watch is you're pushing back the fluid back in the reservoir so I hope it's not gonna overspill would be worth me changing the brake fluid as well like doing a complete flush but not this time maybe another time this is the reservoir right here it kind of is all the way to the maximum that's more that should be it I think that's the maximum alright now you take the new brake pads this side was on the inside that was on the inside let's check that everything is the same and it is this was like that so this is going in like that put them in here in those thingies one and two there's pad number one and then pad number two goes in here like that there you go 
that's in there. This was here before, so I'm just gonna keep it here. Not sure what the purpose is, probably for water not to go too much in here. So I'm just gonna put it back like that. And then this goes on top like that. And there's your brake change. Use new screws supplied with the uh, with the brake pads. One and two. Align this thingy with the with the hole. There's the first screw. They are nice enough to provide this thread locker, which is really nice of them. But first, I'm just gonna do them by hand, if I can, and I think I can. All right, when you when you keep when you put this wrench here, make sure you don't damage the rubber boot. That rubber boot is really important because it makes the caliper slide up and down, well, left, right, really, and if you damage it in that cylinder gets rusty, it won't move properly, and then you have some issues. So watch the boot, watch the rubber boot. I think I messed it up. <sighs> Twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, and then lock it, bitch. What's up, brew dog? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Beer and mechanics. Gotta love beer and mechanics. All right. Give everything a spin, see that everything's alright, which it is. Fuck off, man. Okay, now I'll put the wheel back and end of story. So, yeah, like I said, if you're in a hurry, you could do this in 30 minutes. If you're not in a hurry, maybe like 45. And since I'm here, I need to replace this fake ass bulb here to take this plastic thing off bad Honda, bad why didn't you do a fucking hatch here man why well, do you have to take off the wheel to replace a bulb this is retarded this is retarded I can see it, I can feel it I'm gonna probably struggle to put it back like I struggled to take it up in the first place. Oh no, 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 no. Worth it. No more annoying orange, man. How cool does that look? <laughs> you tell me, yo. Alright, so I did this wheel as well. This actually took way less time. I'm at the back wheel. And I've ran into a little problem because usually because really I didn't want to film the black the back wheel also. So in case you can't remove the disc, which that's the case now. The Japanese people were smart enough to think about this. And see that's the fixing screws. And these holes are threaded, and the, the screws from the caliper, the hold the caliper, fit in here, with the sole purpose of pushing this motherfucker out. So I'm just gonna use the old screws from the caliper. So that worked. The screw method was great, <laughs> and I got the thing out. Happy days. Alright, this one is done. I've got the fourth one left. Last one. 